Hi everyone, welcome to the English conversation. Our topic for this week is generation gap and we are going to answer some questions about ourselves and about our opinions. Yes, so today a little more sit down and talk video again, but I hope we enjoy it. You enjoy it anyway. We also maybe hopefully, but you especially. Okay. Um, Irene, in which things do you feel the generational gap the most? Okay, well, with my parents, I have to say that they really adapted, for example, a lot to nowadays world. So I like in this my mother, like she's very, uh, I don't know how to say, she understands everything. So it's true that she was never strict with me in many things. But also it's true that sometimes, I don't know, when, for example, with the time to be at home, this is true, uh, she always told me a lot of stories that she had to be uh, very early at home with her parent, her father and her father closed her the door and he left her outside. So at that time, like how also they were stricter, I think the parents with their children, I don't know, like nowadays, of course, it depends on the family. But I feel also this generation gap in my family. Like, yeah. And also, um, I would like to have uh, met, like talk more a lot uh, more uh, with my grandmother. So I don't feel too much like the generation gap with older people because of this. But I also felt it, for example, uh, when she told me she never worked because she wanted to like she stayed at home. Like uh, my grandfather was the one who worked. So she didn't work. She um, took care of the house and everything. And she lived without, yes, studying and working and everything. And for her, uh, it was very comfortable and she didn't want to change it. Mm -hmm. And also the women's rights. I think we also talk about it in like the other day, you and I. My mother always tell me that, yes, how it has been, how it has improved over the time thanks to demonstrations and fighting so i think yeah. yes okay well for me i don't think i will i've been thinking about it and i do think like also we said it in the conversation that we had already like there is a generation gap but i don't think that i feel it so much in anything because of when i think about my family and my grandparents there are differences, I would say, but because, I don't know, we love each other and we listen to each other, so we, un like, there's an understanding, I don't know, like, for example, I'm a vegetarian and my grandma and my grandfather, they, mm, I don't know, in the beginning, at least, they didn't understand it so much, because when they grew up, like, my grandma always said, me, well, if I could eat meat, like, this was, like, a good thing, because we didn't have much food and so on, like after the war. Um, uh, but like she, she still like supports me and respects that I decided mm -hmm. this like this. And I of course also understand her reasoning, but I think now like it's just a different time. So yeah, um, so like this. And also now with you, like we have, we are in contact every week, but I feel like of course, there are differences, but I don't think they are so much because of the age. I don't know. No, like, yeah. It's like, because we are all different people and yeah. also because maybe we are from different countries. But I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I feel you because, as I said, I told experiences that my mother told me. Yes. But I don't have uh, people like close to me yes. that I really feel the, the, the different different yeah. I think maybe yeah. one thing maybe this is totally totally like a really small thing but one thing why I feel the generational gap is that my parents with their smartphone they have a smartphone but they use it like this they have the smartphone and then they use like their um, pointing finger and do like this and I would never do it I always use my smartphone like this or I use it but I don't know I feel like I hold it differently yeah I use yes. it differently yeah. and also my father for example he leaves his smartphone unlocked he just puts it away and goes and 
then also sometimes for the night or something yeah. and i would never do that like and i don't know i don't say one thing is better or worse like i i i don't know i don't want to start this discussion but this is something that i noticed like i feel like the use is different yeah. And yes, I also feel it yeah. in my mother and my artist. To my mother, she writes with this, like yes. this in the phone, because she tells me that the like to press the buttons yes. is very difficult, and she writes like this, and my aunt too, and, and it's through the use. And sometimes when I now when I'm here and I write, like I write a message to my father. And it says then there, like, he's writing, he's writing. But I know that he's not writing. He just left the phone uh, with, yes. the, with the keyboard out. So it's, it, the phone, like, says he's writing, but he's doing, I don't know what. And he just left the, the phone like this. <laughs> I don't know. I also have a funny uh, thing. My mother, like, she always writes, okay. <laughs> but she's always writing. And then suddenly, okay. And I thought she was writing me like a love like letter. A letter yes. So yes, this is true. Like concerning technologies, mm -hmm. this I think this the different maybe like yeah. harder for them for some of them. Yeah. Okay. And the next question: mm -hmm. Do you think you can learn a lot of new things from a person of another generation? And which things? Yes, as we also talk about it yesterday. I think there are a lot of positive things of being of different generations, as long as you respect the other yeah. person, of course. But I like I don't have a specific now because, as I said, I didn't talk about it with, for example, my grandma only with my mother. But it's true that I, for example, uh, love um, learning new things about history mm -hmm. that happened. And I think, as we also say, well, I think it's the same that uh, you learn history not to be like to repeat it again like the bad things then we say that during the history we always repeat it again and everything but it's true that it's very good to learn from things not to repeat them again and to improve so i think this is also an advantage and also i don't know i think you also understand the other person more when you know how she or he lived before like her or his previous like her life or his yes. life when he or she was a child and I think it's also good to understand it to respect the other person and I don't know like um, exchanging experiences and I don't know about learning and also do new things that maybe you haven't thought about and the other person I don't know like it for example um, I have I have been born in a generation that we are not very close to nature as they were before, at least in my city. I'm not, I was not very close, for example, as here. It also depends on where. And um, uh, for example, my uh, grandparents, they had like a, they were always all, also in the cottage. And they told me, my mother told me, if you um, had like knew your uh, grandfather, you would, uh, go maybe to the like to the nature with him and do the things with the animals do you understand but I didn't have this opportunity mm. so I don't know share experiences too I think yes for me this is also one of the reasons why I came here like because I think that like sharing experiences and um, it's so important and mm. I think that especially from um, like people older than you you can like learn a lot of course sometimes there are experiences like you need to experience yourself like um even though i think how stupid like how smart the like the humankind could be if just one person made an experience and then everybody would like have this experience but well but i still think like with talking and listening to each other like there is a lot that you can learn um and also of course older people from younger people like i hope that um, you can learn something from yeah us. yeah okay so the next question is what problems do you think can arise between two people of different generations the thing is that you grow up in different times and therefore you have different kinds of normalities like mm -hmm. you have different experiences and different things that you take for granted or think of as normal 
And I think this can be can lead to problems like um, serious problems, but also like just some misunderstandings maybe. Like um, so, and this is why I think it's so important like to talk to each other and to to um, listen to understand each other like i don't know and i think the same is like when you're from two different countries you yeah. also grew up in a different like surroundings and you have different things of normal like normal things so and in this case it's just like um yeah you need to talk to each other or or at least you need to like have be kind and have compassion for the other people mm -hmm. like I can only t say again like this example that Irene likes to cook with like olive oil and I prefer to cook with the other oil just because I'm used to it and it's cheaper in Germany while olive oil of course they have olives in Spain so it's cheaper there and like this is what I mean like yeah, you have just yeah. two different things that are normal and then you ha just have to understand the other person. And of course, this is not a big thing, but I think it applies to many things, also to bigger things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I completely agree with you. And I think that the problems come when you don't want, as you said, to understand the other person or you don't try, neither try to do it. Um, and also when maybe you want to, I don't know, to... Uh, have a plan or to share a plan with the person and maybe like the other person wants something or I don't know do you understand like as you said it doesn't depend I think only in the generation but also on the way of living like yeah. the kind of life that the other person has or had before so I think the problems only arise when you don't understand or respect the other person yes okay and the next question, um, have you ever felt that someone didn't understand you because of a generation gap? Well, as I said, I don't have in my like surrounding yes. people that don't understand me because of this. So I cannot give maybe an example now, but um, it's true that for example, um uh, my mother told me as i said that if like i didn't know my grandfather but she told me that my grandfather in this was very strict with women also so maybe i would i don't know have had yeah. problems with him but i don't know what and also my grandma she was not very talkative so i didn't have problems also because i didn't tell her my things but also I'm sure that if I would have told her many of my things, she wouldn't like it because the way she uh, thought, yeah. like she was more conservative in this, so she wouldn't understand many things. But I talk mostly with my mother and my mother is <laughs> like the opposite. She lived in Franco's regime, during Franco's regime. And um, not, like my family were in the side of Franco and everything. But my mother, she was in the other side, like, she was like she thought and things differently so she always understand me so i don't think i i have i have ever had problems with someone and what about you well for me it's sometimes but i i don't really have problems either but sometimes when i talk with my father especially about politics he like we like don't argue because we don't but we discuss things and he said okay yes we could but you have to think about in the 90s this and this and this happened and for him it's like it happened like he remembers mm -hmm. this because he was young at the time like and he it's part of his like political mindset because he lived like he he experienced this but for me, it's like, this, that's history for yeah. me, you know? Like, I have a different political understanding sometimes also because I didn't experience certain things that he did. So, like, for me, like, I just have this different viewpoint or I just have this different, um, like, experience. And he, yeah. I think he, sometimes he, like, doesn't see that. But it's nothing like nothing serious. Yeah. And then also, we had this teacher in history as well, and he would always say to us. But this was funny. This was not really. And he would always say to us, "Don't you remember this? Don't you remember this?" And then 
we we would say well and we in what home. year was it and he would say like well 2003 or something where we where like my generation was two years old yeah, so, 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 and then they see through he was young he is himself he was like 35 or something but he would get like a crisis how old he is <laughs> because yes this was always really funny but um, i'm sure like for the next generation like it will be also different our view of seeing the world after covid mm -hmm. do you understand i think we well i don't know the people but at least i will be like more conscious about things mm -hmm. and i don't know i think it won't be the same exactly yeah. the same and for example the next generation who uh, will maybe i don't know be after the co the covid they won't have this feeling yeah. because they didn't uh, experience this. Yes. So I completely Okay, agree. and one final question. How did your view of other generations change over time? Okay, uh, well, I'm young, so I, um, like, I don't, it didn't change a lot. But it's true that, uh, well, when I was a kid, I didn't think about it so much. Like, for example, I saw, like, I don't know, old people. I Well, it changed because I didn't, as I said, I didn't try to communicate with my grandma. And nowadays I regret it. So I would have done it now. But I cannot. So this is a thing, like, of before. Uh, and also when I was younger, um, I was, I don't know, I saw the older generation, like, cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw it, like, for example, older people were cooler and I want, yes, and it was very funny because I also, like, all the time was uh, telling my family, they always laugh, I want to be 18, I want to be 18 because 18 people are very cool, they can do many things, they can go to discos and I cannot do anything, and when I was 16, I, I went on party, but not to discos because I couldn't and I really wanted, and then I was 18, I went one year and then everything was the same and I told my mother why I had like this expectation or this view of this generation if I don't know like of course things change but it like it doesn't change like so much like oh my god I will be cooler and happier and everything because also you have more responsibilities so I think it's different uh, age and I like a lot to talk with older people rather than with kids. I have been working with kids and it's good, but it's different. Like, so it has changed. Like now I'm more, uh, I want, I really want more to talk with older people. And what about you? Well, um, for me, I think what's funny is that like, I know that as soon as like me and my friends were like three years older than like the people three years younger than us, we would start to be like, oh my God, we weren't the same at that age. Like we were somehow like totally different yeah. um, generation or like totally more wise than them, but which of course isn't true. But it was like, this was the thing that we did like, hmm, oh my God, they are already using makeup or something like this. Or, oh my God, they are using like this um, social media app or something and we didn't do it at the time. And we would feel like so grown up, but like we weren't obviously still now. I don't know if I'm grown up, but yeah. So this is like, I don't know. I think I would always, I always had more an opinion about the people younger than me than older than me. Okay, so that's everything for today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. And yes, yes, next week we will see you in another video. And until then, stay safe and stay healthy and enjoy the sun as, as much as is possible. Yes, in this and the weather. snow. Yes, and the snow. Okay. And yes, see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.